other breaking news that we have been following all morning, at least one person is dead after a massive fire broke out at an apartment in northeast Portland. We want to get straight to Elise Haas, who joins us live with more information. Elise? Well, Ken and Jenny, it's been a tragic morning for this family who is trapped inside their burning apartment. You can see where this fire has completely ripped through this unit. And unfortunately, the grandmother was not able to make it out. So I talked to neighbors who say they woke up to explosions, glass shattering, and screams for help from the people inside. And then one of the women who lives in the same exact apartment unit says she was the one who called 911 and rushed emergency crews here. Another neighbor that I spoke to heard the fire break out. He lives across the street. So he ran over to help the family escape and here's what he had to say. We went to the front door. The man came out. Um, he said that his little girl was still in there. So we went to the side. I busted out the one of the bedroom windows, able to pull the little girl out of the window. Um, that's when they kept saying the grandma's still inside. The mom, dad, and daughter were all able to get out of the apartment, but they were rushed to the hospital with minor injuries. Firefighters tell me that they suffered from smoke inhalations. But again, sadly, the grandmother was not able to make it out. Um, this fire was so fast moving. Firefighters tell me that she was right inside the front door. So just a tragic situation here. So we are at 160th near Gleason, and this is when this fire broke out around 3.30 this morning. Also talk to those witnesses who say that none of them heard smoke smoke alarms going off to even notify this family that this fire and emergency was happening. So that's something that fire investigators are looking into to see if, in fact, there was not any working sm smoke alarms. And then on top of that, fire investigators, I just talked to them. They still don't know how, where, or why this fire started, but we'll bring you that update in our newscast at noon. But for now, reporting live in Northeast Portland, Elise Haas, Coin 6 News. Mm, very sad situation. Okay, thank you, Elise.